Hello, Aries. This is a reading for sun, moon, or rising in the sign of Aries for this new moon in Cancer energy, which was just happening last night here on the east coast of the United States anyway, around close to 11 p.m. last night in a very tight conjunction with Black Moon Lilith and a square to Jupiter. All of that is on my Facebook page if you're wondering, <laughs> Aries, what does that all mean? Well, Cancer alone is bringing up our childhood, childhood wounds as well as our family dynamics within us. Um, Black Moon Lilith is bringing up the repressed parts feminine energies, not gender, but energies, our receptive, intuitive side that's been repressed, suppressed, put down, disregarded, disrespected, all of that stuff. So there's a lot of rage, anger yeah, for justice, balance, harmony. And then Jupiter is very expansive. Jupiter also um, has to do with our belief systems. So there's going to be a lot of battles between the head and the heart and just battles between people in this energy. Potentially. It's for our growth, for our self-understanding, for our understanding as a human species, as a collective. But again, you want to hear more, go into my Facebook page. I did do a reading on that energy. So Aries, let's get back to you. What is going on with the energy of Aries? These are general readings, so take what resonates for you and leave the rest. Try not to build a story if it is not resonating with you. If you would like a personal reading, you can book through my website, which is bethechange333.com, and I'll also have it in the description box below. Okay, all that said and done, let's get on with the reading for Aries. Going on with Aries. Okay. The waiting game, Aries. Okay, so you've been caught in some kind of loop of sorts. Um, either waiting, waiting for the right time, waiting for someone else to come around. You're waiting for something. Uh, in your mind, you're waiting for something or someone. However, the waiting game, when we put ourselves in the waiting game, we tend to be actually waiting on ourselves, our own soul's growth, unbeknownst to us. So let's keep going though, Aries. Let's see where this is going for you. I've been in the waiting game myself personally, off and on over the last four years or so until I finally realized I caught myself in it and was like, who am I waiting on? What am I waiting on? <laughs> this is all me. <laughs> this show is for me. I gotta like, there were some things I had to work out within in me. All right, Aries, let's keep going here. discontent and boredom. Yeah, when we get stuck in that waiting energy, we can get frustrated, bored, lonely, because we feel like we're waiting on outside forces, outside people, outside sources. And literally it is life waiting for us to wake up from that pattern you got to go deeper sometimes, Aries. If you're discontented, if there's something going on inside of you that just isn't feeling right, dig a little deeper. What is that? Why is it that you're not just happy where you are in the present moment? I know a lot of the times our egos will say, yeah, we are happy. Or it's because of this person or that thing or the world in general, right? But, um... It is up to us to um, reach out for the assistance if we need it. But it's also up to us to unpack and peel back the layers 
of our old self, of our patterns, of our past, and really start to let go of a lot of those things that just aren't working for us, don't feel good, probably aren't 100% accurate. Yet, you know, we all have a story. The mind loves to have a story. Let's keep going for Aries. Light. I want to see where this is going. So even though you find yourself discontent and bored most of the time, there are moments where you capture the light, where you connect to the light, the sun. Your vitality, your joy, your happiness. This is also spiritual connection. Seeing the beauty in everything and everyone. That's where you, that's where it's at, Aries. If you can get to this point and stay there. Now that is um, mastery and I'm not even there yet. We all get thrown off of our high uh, flying disc from time to time, Aries. But you know, the more and more we put certain things into practice, we can get right back up there again. All right, let's go. And you have two here, rest and rejuvenate and material harvest. Beautiful. I love this, this reading for you, Ari. Okay, so the bottom of the deck is love begins. This speaks of, and below that is power. This I'm reading as ego, what we perceive as our strength and power. But really, it's when we're living from the heart, when we're connected to the heart, when we're connected to the element, the energy of love, that is the strength, that is the power. The energy of love is the strongest frequency vibration there is in the entire universe. So Aries, you've been in the waiting game, waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for something, someone, and you're bored and you're frustrated and you're not really sure what to do with yourself. The cards are saying, you have the ability to tap into your vitality, your true, uh, your solar plexus, your true power and energy and connection to nature, the universe, all of that. Take a time out for yourself, rest, and allow these energies to rejuvenate you. Allow the light, the sun, to rejuvenate your you at a soul level. This is where the material, this is material harvest. This is where you'll begin to actually be able to experience what it is that you might have been waiting around for. Tangible evidence of manifestation. We're gonna dive into this deeper Aries, but that is beautiful. And I know this is kind of like the precipice where there's an understanding, but there's still, there's a, it's like half of you, the head is still going in old patterns, but it does know. It also knows that the heart is the stronger component in all of that. So, you know, we go in and out from time to time. As long as you're picking up what the universe is putting down for you, Aries, you are doing just fine. But do take that time to rest, really rest and rejuvenate yourself. Get yourself into a meditative state, still the mind. Okay, Aries, let's go into the waiting game. It's almost as if you're waiting for life to kind of pick up again, waiting for some excitement to arrive at your doorstep or something new or different or waiting on something. Isn't that just like us, the human beings? You're always waiting on something or someone. Well, no more, Aries. Let's see. Can I get more on the waiting game, please? like you've been looping around in this waiting game for quite some time too and it will it'll spiral us up and down quite often 
like through the death, rebirth, cycles. Yet, if we're still not actually getting to where it is that our mind is telling us that we want to be, that's when we find ourselves really feeling like I'm not doing this right <laughs> or I'm just bored with everything right now. Okay, the hermit. So yeah, with this waiting game, you have really kind of been pulled your energy back to yourself resting in solitude but this is a this is your decision your choice which is a beautiful thing probably because you're like i don't know what else to do at this point <laughs> nothing else seems to be working okay so we have the king of swords the eight of discs the Two of Swords and Judgment. Oh, beautiful Aries. And at the bottom of this deck, ah, the universe, similar to the world card in traditional tarot. So this is all about your evolutionary process, Aries. You are going through the cycles of death and rebirth. You're growing your roots deeper into the earth, your own personal firm, firm foundation from within, and then reaching up. You see how she's reaching up to connect with the cosmos at the same time, grounded in reality, but connected to the higher. That is beautiful. I have the chills from that. So the waiting game, yeah, that wait, you'll be waiting for a long time if you keep waiting like that. Uh, discontent and boredom. You're in your mind too much, Aries. You are going about it the old way. You're going about it with logical mind or with ideas that come up in the mind that seem like good ideas and they are, yet the way you're going about them is um, still rooted in the old self, rooted in ego, one, based on competition or comparison towards others. Light, eight of discs. It's time to understand, learn, work on this part of yourself, the part that has the ability to connect to the light, to the higher realms. Study, get an idea of what that's all about. Your energy, your spiritual side, your soul side. Rest and rejuvenate <sighs> because two of swords, there is still some deep pain within you. Uh, there are also deep pain from a very long time ago, Aries, most likely from childhood. Um, that is unconscious or subconscious. So when we rest, we're rejuvenating these energies. You have a choice to make. This card speaks of duality. You see the black and the white on the moon there? There's two sides to every coin. But there's a decision you have to make. Are you going to continue to proceed in life the old way through the mind? Or are you going to drop down into the heart and let life guide you, your internal guidance system, your senses, your intuition guide you through life. That is a choice that only you can make, Aries. However, when you make the choice of your awakening consciousness to learn about energy, learn, understand that what we had been taught, what we had learned up to this point is programming and conditioning to have us think and act and be in a certain way. And this, I feel like you do know, when you get into your more elevated, uh, when you're in alignment with yourself, first of all, authentically, um, and in alignment with your higher self, this is when you start to reap the rewards, your material harvest. You can actually see and experience tangible things manifesting to you through the energy exchange process. You don't have to physically go out there, manipulate energy and make things work and do these things because there's something inside of you that just isn't feeling right. So when we do that, because we all have um, 
issues inside, internal issues that um, are swirling around and sometimes we're not even aware of it fully. But when we aren't feeling happy with life and we're going in the old way, we always try to manipulate and adjust life so that it will, so we'll, we'll feel better. <laughs> but the, that's the old way. Get feeling better internally first and watch the magic unfold, Aries. I'm gonna get you an advice card here. I know that sounded a little cryptic, but um, trust me when I say, when you get out of your own way, when you get out of the mind, and you get out of the head, things happen. That's where the magic is at. All right, for Aries. Advice for Aries, please. And just be aware, this is what every human being on this planet is going through at the same time, which is so interesting. Not a lot of people are talking about it still. There are more, but it's interesting to know how many people are actually still remaining quiet while their internal world is being turned upside down. Oh, okay. Hey Aries, you're the third one today to get this card out, loneliness. Yeah, and with the Hermit and with all the rest of Rejuvenate, I was kind of getting that sensation that you, you are desiring connection, connecting with others, and maybe feeling a little isolated and alone right now. That's only because you're going through this growth process. Surrender to it, allow it to guide you to a place that's so much more happier and authentic and genuine and real for you. I'll read this from the book for you, Aries. It says, I know that I am never alone. I should have this memorized by now as many times as I pulled this card today. This card has come to you because you must be reminded that there's a difference between being lonely and being alone. Feelings of loneliness originate from a sense of not appreciating the most important person in your life, you. If solitude seems like an affliction, you need to work on creating a healthy relationship with yourself. Only then will you attract others who will nurture your soul. If you don't develop a healthy relationship with yourself first, you will only draw unhealthy relationships to you. To create a healthy, positive relationship with yourself, you must begin to feel worthy of love. The pessimism of this physical dimension can affect your self-esteem if you don't have the strong conviction that you are valuable and meaningful. Don't view solitude as a weakness. It is merely your soul telling you that it is time to do some inner work and reevaluate your path before you start to shine. As you sit in the silence of your soul, you will realize that your spirit family, teachers, and guides are with you. You are never alone. And that is so true, Aries. Know that it does get better. We're not doing things the old way anymore. We are working in energetics, and it's exciting. It can be a little scary and confusing, but there are plenty of guides, and we have internal guides as well, around to assist with that. So those are the messages I have for you today, Aries. If you like this video, please click the like button. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. It costs nothing for you. There's no obligation to anything at all. It just helps with the algorithms of YouTube to get the messages out to more and more people who may need to hear this message, as well as helping to build this channel so that I can provide more and more content on a daily basis. Thank you, Aries. I'll be back.